companies can do that, but also I think each of us as individuals have, an, have the ability and in a certain sense the obligation to find those people informally, not just in our own companies but outside, to help us with that. Should there be affirmative action for Asians? No. You know what? <laughs> I, I, I absolutely disagree with, with affirmative action for anybody. anybody. I think you have to be, have affirmative action for skill, for talent, not for any color, race, gender, or anything. I think it's disgrace and I think it's anti you know, I think it's reverse discriminations. When you have any groups that are specially treated, it's because of their background. I, I, I personally don't believe it. I'm, I'm sure there's an argument that I guess Shirley and I are about to get into argument. <laughs> <laughs> the time ran out about, you know, but she has a momentum theory. That's Well, no, I, I'm totally, I, I mean, I am completely against affirmative action and quotas <laughs> and all that. But, however, I must share with everyone, because this was fascinating to me. I was on a, a panel on uh, corporate governance or something uh, uh, a few months ago, and there was a woman from Norway who, where they have a, you have to have 40% of all boards by fiat now have to be uh, female. And she said she was violently against it. She, in principle, she's just, you know, opposed, appalled. Now she said, but here's the reality. Two years later, she said, when you put a gun to the heads of these corporations and said, okay, you got to go find enough women so that 40% of your board is now comprised of women, she said the most amazing group of women were found in Norway who have now come forward, who are now available not just for boards, but for senior management positions. And so she said, to my grave, I will go opposing it. The reality is it was actually a really good thing huh. for women in Norway. So, so that's, that's, that's where uh, uh, that, that conversation can go. Right, right. But just as an individual, I, you know, I'm sure a lot of people here in the room, I hope, hope you feel the same way. I, I, I think I, I certainly would like to know that I have been recognized or put into a position because they believe I'm good for it and I could do it and I'm the best person for it at the time. Okay, and I know, I know we all feel the same way. And it, it cannot be, oh, yeah, we need to find a Chinese American that is five foot eight, that look like you, and certain age, and you know, born in the sign of whatever. Uh, and, and I think that's, to me, that's, that's certainly degrading. Well, I think we, it's just because we have pride, and we don't want to be viewed that way. But in reality, I think sometimes is just given the opportunity, something bigger or greater can open up that, um, or, you know, sometimes you may need a push to get there. Well, the opportunity is actually here. Um, uh, you know, as Shirley pointed out, all corporate boards in America now is looking for advice, understanding, and ability to operate in Asia. So why haven't you okay. seen more? Uh, well, it's a matter of time, right? And, um, you know, I, I know a number of boards that I'm actually involved in. In fact, it was one of the board I'm involved with. I'm not going to tell you who, but one of the board I'm involved with actually Feel looking free. for. Huh? Feel free. <laughs> <laughs> no, that they're looking for another Asian to be on the board. And, and um, you know, I'm actively helping. And but does that bother you? That, that sounds like affirmative right, yeah, yeah, action. Right. We want no, an Asian on the board. No, no, no. Because it is a strategic plan that that is a market for the next stage of growth. Okay. No, not at all. It was not that. It was that somebody, in fact, we would like to have somebody who's actually lived there, is living there. So uh, real Asian. Uh, yeah, <laughs> really. Uh, <laughs> so I actually took a little offense <laughs> to that. Because, you know, it's like, you know, but, but it's actually lived there um, because we want to get the pulse there. So it's, it's really about growth. It's not about, let's just have another. Final thoughts, and then we're going to take questions from the audience. Uh, anything I should have asked you or you expected me to ask you? Well, I want to pick up on something Shelley said about the 40% in Norway. By the way, I'm wondering why it's 40%. Why isn't it 50%? Right. I mean, if you're going to do it, why not? Let's not get too greedy. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, we're but, happy um, with 40, right? But I do think, um, and I very much am with, with you on affirmative action in terms, in terms of your view, um, but I would say a little bit of, of prompting is not a bad thing. What I mean by that, for example, in the hiring process as we hire mid-level and senior level managers, making sure that as you make, as you begin to evaluate interview candidates, whether internally or externally, 
that those that the candidates that you're looking at themselves that they, re they they represent a range of different things because that's where the I think the default just may go to the oh I know Bill or Susie or whoever it is etc and again just being a little expansive sometimes takes a little prompting it shouldn't but sometimes it doesn't I think it can be very worthwhile well, how do you feel about this? I mean, you've been asking all these questions. You never yeah. said about affirmative action. I yeah, I mean, everything yeah. you just asked us. You know, the brand, the affirmative. Yeah, action. when I got when I got promoted, everybody told me it was because I was Mexican. <laughs> I got emails like that. That's, I'm Cuban, actually, but you know, they didn't know the difference. Um, <laughs> we have some. We have really great audience. <laughs> I wish I knew who wrote these. Um, here's some data. There are fewer Asians on boards in San Francisco Bay Area than 10 years ago. There are fusion, fewer Asian. Uh, senior execs in Intel than 10 years ago. There are fewer Asian managers in than 10 years ago. I don't, I don't know what company that is. Uh, is this progress? I think that's rhetorical. Uh, I think they, they take issue with the belief that we're getting somewhere. You want, you're looking at me? Yeah, oh. yeah. You're the one who's the I thought, I thought oh, okay, okay. most positive. You, you too, Rob, were quite positive. I think. Yeah, um, I, <laughs> um, you know, a, a lot of times you got to also focus on whether the Asians get at it the right way. And, um, you know, uh, I, I certainly have not seen the kind of the level of engagement of some of the very key people that could have done. And again, when I talk about engagement, I really talk about engagement in the society, engagement into the nonprofit, engagement into... I'm not talking about engagement to just being another, you know, go to work longer hours. I don't mean that. And, and you know, you really need to be in a more integral part. Um, I got invited to boards. Um, one board I got invited to, um, which is a very big company, um, just because the chairman and I were serving on the symphony board together. And, you know, I wasn't there because I want to get into that company board. It's just that we happen to know each other, happen to like each other, and then we chatted, and then you just for years, right? This is happening. But, you know, he just kind of say, hey, you know, this guy is, you know, knows a little bit about this, knows a little bit about that. And, kind of, and then when they were looking for a board member, they, they said, oh, maybe I'll ask John. Mm -hmm. and in Classic fact, networking. Yeah, uh, well, networking, but you got to be, right. you got to be out there, right? right? It's like friends. If, if, if you never go out to dinner with any of your friends and you try to figure out why nobody call you, <laughs> I mean, geez, I mean, well, and then you say, nobody likes me because I'm Asian. It's, I mean, I, I, mean I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I, 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 now, I'm not saying the observation is good or bad. Um, getting at it by diversity quotering, by affirmative actioning, and all that, I think is a bad way to get at it. Getting at it as, you know, I could contribute uh, because of my unique background. I could make it more well-rounded. I could, I could match up with the strategic plan of the company. I think you get a lot of invitation. But you need to be in, Again. you gotta have to be in it. I mean, mm -hmm. the, in, in that circle first. I, I'd like to add on this. It's actually, I sit on the board of Kaiser Permanente. And it's a nonprofit healthcare system, right? But it's run like a profit, so it's a very, it very much run, runs like a corporate board. And when I um, looked at boards to join, um, when I actually decide on Kaiser, it's, and I won't tell you, quite a few people say, well, that's not really a corporate board. You know, you should really go into a real corporate board. And I say, no, actually, I think it's something that I really truly believe in, something I really could learn from, something I could contribute. So I think sometimes it's not so much the statistic of being on a corporate board. It's like, to me, that is just as good as any other corporate Absolutely. board out there. Absolutely. But it's that perception that was because it's not listed in any of the uh, right. stock exchanges, it's not considered one. But I think, you do have to get out there. Right. And I think when you are written or people know about you or any kind of headhunting, looking for board, you really have to seek it out. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they might not know that you're interested too. So I think you need to do your due diligence to get out there to get a board seat. This is going to be for Shelley and Jenny because I think you have both read this, mag this article. I have not. Um, same New York Magazine article states that 17% of associates hired by PricewaterhouseCoopers are Asian. When asked if PricewaterhouseCoopers would expect that in 14 years, 17% of new partners will be Asian, they said, quote, they are not ready for that, 
and neither is anyone else.